everyone today we are going to discuss stress strain curve before going into the topic we should know what is stress strain curve it is a graph obtained during the experimental study of elastic behavior of materials for easy understanding let us consider a utm machine utm stands for universal testing machine by which you can calculate the different properties of materials like stress strain stiffness strength and several other different properties like young's modulus and bulk modulus rigidity modulus etc etc let us consider a mild steel rod of certain length l now we are going to draw stress strain curve for this mild steel rod we have to keep this rod into the chucks of utm machine let us consider a x y plane let stress be on y axis and strain be on x axis when stress is increasing in the rod in utm machine here the curve starts increasing because when there is a force there is a stress when there is a stress there is a strain so the graph starts increasing up to certain point stress and strain both are linearly proportional this point is known as proportionality limit up to this limit hooke's law is obeyed hooke's law states that up to proportionality limit stress and strain are directly proportional to each other at certain point if we remove the load the member will regains its original shape and size this point is known as elastic limit that is up to this point member will undergo deformation but that is not permanent the member will undergo temporary deformation because when we are releasing the load the member regains its original shape and size if we further increase the load the member will be yielding it means that member is going into permanent deformation after this point if we remove the load the member will not gain its original shape and size this is known as yield point we have two yielding points that is upper yield point and lower yield point at upper yield point the member enters into the permanent deformation zone at its lower yield point the member maintain constant plastic deformation after yield point there is a huge change in strain with a less change in stress the curve increases rapidly even there is a small change in stress then the curve reaches to the highest point of stress strain curve this highest point is known as ultimate stress point the value at ultimate stress point is the maximum stress a mild steel can withstand up to this ultimate stress point this region is known as plastic zone or uniform plastic elongation zone after ultimate stress point the member starts necking you can see in this image what actually necking is necking is a sudden change in cross sectional area of any member by this figure it will be very clear if you look at this image there is a sudden change in cross sectional area this type of area is known as necking after necking zone the material finally fail in utm machine this point is known as breaking point or rupture point where material actually fails or fracture and this zone is known as necking zone so this is what actually stress strain curve is in further classes we will be discussing young's modulus bulk modulus and rigidity modulus thank you for watching the video please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video will be uploaded
Please share with your friends.